Praise the Lord, saints of God, body of Christ, bride of Christ. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is 8, 20, get this right, 26, 2023. For when the Lord said time is going to be flying, he knew what he meant. <laughs> Praise God, hallelujah. Time is flying faster and faster and faster every day, brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ. For the Lord has given me a message to give unto all of you this very day. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray first. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I come before you, precious King, to thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. To thank you for another day of life you have blessed me and my children and my grandchildren and my son-in-laws with father god i give you the honor and glory praise and thanksgiving now and forever lord jesus you are a good good father and your children all adore you thank you for giving us this message Thank you, my Lord, because I have seen it coming. I have experienced it today, Father God, in these days that we live in. Many of my brethren are experiencing it right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Almighty God. For you say you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we will see the things that were shown unto your apostles for time and things repeat itself. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that I live in such a time as this. Amen. Thank you, God. The word of the Lord came to me. In Ephesians, 1 Corinthians 12, 7 through 10, it says, But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man to profit withal. For to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gift of healing by the same Spirit, to another the working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another diverse kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh the one and the self same spirit, dividing <clears throat> to every man severely as he will. For as the body is one and hath many members, and all the members of that one body, being many are one body, so also is Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Ephesians 11 to 13. Ephesians 4, 11 to 13. It says, And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of faith and of knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Amen. This is the word. I have called thee to edify my church not to bring big names unto thyself. Ye who are called to, the pa to be pastors, evangelists, prophets, teachers, and healers, are not called to become famous and pr prosperous, but to bring my sheep unto my sheepfold. And many of ye 
are bringing prosperity to thyself and forgetting about my sheep whom remain lost in the wilderness of this God forsaken world. I am commanding ye this day to go out and bring in the sheep unto me so that they can also have everlasting life. I am the great I am and the Alpha and the Omega and the first and the last and I am seeing my sheep falling into the pit every day and ye my sheep whom have ever eternal life in ye are not loving my people that are hurting. Be a blessing to those whom are suffering and without in the life, in this life, be my light and my soul. as I, your Father in heaven, is the true light. Hear me this day, go and share my word to the lost, for they are sheep that have no shepherd and are losing their souls every day. Many are called to edify my body do so in my holy name. Now is the day and hour to do so. Shalom, my sheep who loves me and your brethren. I am he who has come in the flesh and I am coming again. Love ye your bridegroom your master, Yeshua. Brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ, we see the day coming. We must go out and bring in the lost from the world of sin, shame, corruption, and pain, sorrow, and misery before Abba comes and gets us. Take this as a warning all to the body of Christ. Be blessed. And I'll see you in the air. My heart breaks for the, the lost. My heart breaks for them very, very much. Be blessed. And I have something to read to you all. It's found in 1 Corinthians, first chapter, verse four. I thank my God always on your behalf for the grace of God, which is given you by Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched by him in all utterance and all knowledge even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you, so that ye come behind in no gift, waiting for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall also confirm you unto the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, by whom ye were called, and to the fellowship of his Son, Jesus the Christ. Be blessed. Love you all. See you in the air. Brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, the Lord is releasing 
releasing, releasing the spiritual gifts once again to edify the body of Christ. Let him use you. Let him use you for your for his honor and glory, brothers and sisters in Christ. For he is releasing, releasing, releasing in Jesus' name the fivefold ministry in the body of Christ all over the world. Be used by his honor and glory. Be used for his honor and glory. Be used by his Holy Spirit. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.